Lord Jesus knows that this video is not sponsored. I wish they would pay me for the pain that I went through, which you guys are going to know about in just a second. Spoiler alert, it sucks. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonia and today's video is going to be a review on the much anticipated, well, much anticipated review on the Perfect Sculpt Bra, AKA the Instagram bra. Everybody and their mom is talking about it and I wish that it would stop popping up on my Explorer page and I wish that some of the makeup and beauty and fashion accounts would stop posting about it. <laughs> Uh, but if you guys would like more honest reviews like this one, don't forget to hit subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so first things first, you guys need to know information about my boobies. Um, I'm a mom. My son is seven going on eight years old. I breastfed him for about three years. I know, I braved it for about three years. He started playing games and like biting me. I felt like I was McDonald's drive through You just come on through, take a sip and then take off like, hello. These things are mature. I am 30-ish years old. Gravity is taking a toll. The devil's trying to bring them to hell and they are double Ds. A little information about these chimichangas as I've been calling them, especially on Snapchat. If you guys follow me on there, you guys know I talk about them way too much. But first of all, I've seen videos on them and I'm like, the only time that they look good is if your boobs are over there, one's over there, one's over here, and they are the size of your fist. If they are not, and if they're as big as someone's face like my boobs, it's not gonna work. Essentially, they are really aggressive stickers. Um, so you stick one on each boob and you like almost like do a little corset pull in the center and it's supposed to bring them like united as one it's uncomfortable no one's talking about how painful it is to pull it off your skin it it literally hurts I mean it's like a fly Venus fly trap when you put your fingers or put your boob skin on the actual sticky part of the bra good luck trying to get that off there should be a video on like pulling it off like people jumping into cactuses it should be this video people removing it off their skin because it hurts that much i'm not being i know i'm dramatic but i'm not i'm not like that I, i'm dramatic but it freaking hurts so i did purchase the perfect sculpt bra in two colors hoping that it would work and i actually got them in a size double d but i'm going to put it against my shirt and you can see quickly that even the double D size is too small. Um, the nipple, like there's like a circle here and it's supposed to be like um, a, a little gap for your nipple, but I'm like, <laughs> what? I don't know about y'all, but my nipples are not that small. Uh, my nipples have not been that small since birth. I think original price is like $50 and on their website right now, they're $20.99. Not that I'm telling you guys to get it because I am telling you it sucks and it hurts. I'm going to put them onto my shirt and you can see that my boobs are clearly way bigger. So even if I place the pad over here, it's kind of a cone. So your boobs will be a weird shape, if you know what I'm saying. Like if it was completely flat, I get it. But they're doing this cone part for you. So it just makes it really lumpy. This is what it's going to look like when you try to get it off. <laughs> okay, so... I'm not gonna show you guys because it's not a freaking porno, it's an educational video. Um, my nipple is wants to be here and then the circle for the nipple is over here. But I'm just gonna place this in the middle of my boob. This part of my boob is not being cupped. This part of my boob is not being covered and the top part of my boob, nothing's being controlled. So if I pull it, when I do, when you do the zip tie thing in the middle, when you pull it towards each other, the bottom part of your boobs hanging out and just what's happening here. If I moved this cup lower, it literally is not gonna, it's, it's, it just can't happen because then your nipples expose and then it defeats the purpose of having a strapless bra. Seriously, these have to go. These were created by the devil himself. I'm totally convinced. These should be banned in California. They're like literally a torture chamber for your boobs. I don't understand how any feminist could wear those because it's abuse. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you've tried it, let me know in the comments down below. Also share any of your thoughts, any of your questions. I'll try and answer them as long as they're not rude, mean, or gross. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> that's usually where we, we bond the most is in the comment section. So I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts, any requests on future videos, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe if you have not already to support this channel and to watch 
some updated videos in the near future. So thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you guys in the next one.